some in there. It's hard to tell right now. Uh, looks like something's melted. It looks like the part of the PG just melted up the top edge of the lid here. Not as much condensation on the inside of the canister. When that time came, uh, we were made aware that they, in fact, did exist and had been recovered. And we got an opportunity to see them, and to our amazement, they were virtually intact. The last, the last digit in the canister number? No, as far as canisters one through six, I it should be live assemblies one. Do they have liquid percentage-wise about zero, right? Okay. Initially, uh, when we first received the canisters here at the hangar, we were, we were first focused on retrieving the autonomous temperature data loggers that we had placed inside, which measured temperature at, at various time intervals throughout the entire flight. We were concerned that those batteries had died or had leaked and would have uh, hurt the integrity of the loggers. So we immediately uh, opened up the cans just enough to get the, the loggers out and uh, to our amazement, we downloaded them uh, nominally, uh, still on flight battery power, and obtained some, some valuable temperature data from them. Then uh, uh, the following Monday, which was last Monday, uh, with our principal investigators present here at Kennedy, we, we continued to open uh, the Brick 60 canisters. Uh, we retrieved the Petri dishes, which were uh, the containment for the auger in which the worms lived. Uh, we were again amazed that uh, every Petri dish